Hi. Remember in like 2015, when every video on YouTube for I would say a good like 10 months ended with the same word, or was it two words? Do you know what I'm about to say? If you know, say it with me. Three, two, one. Story time. All caps, little asterisks in between the word or on the either side of the word. That was a time. I never understood the stories. They were very long. They were like the length of Magic Mike 2. And there was lots of text messages on the screen. They'd be like, pause and read these. I, I want you guys to see the proof. And I'd try to read it and I'd be like, what is this? I should be reading a book. Why is this happening in my life? I also felt condescending. I'm not trying to go off on other YouTubers, even though that's what I do. I'm glad these women got paid. They honestly talked for a long time and that's all is required on YouTube and they, they did it. But I, I felt like I was, I don't know, like they're treating me like a kid. Story time? I, I graduated high school, bro. It's not 11 a.m. at the public library story time on a Saturday. You're, and by the way, I know it's, it's overkill. I know, you're sitting at the edge of your bed, you got ring lights in your eyes, you've straightened your hair, beautiful natural lighting, and the video is already called I was kidnapped by a viner and forced to join his cult. What other time would it be but story? <laughs> It's such an innocent sounding phrase, by the way, for just literally story time and then it's called I was killed in a field. I have receipts. By the way, I never can get over like, how does this happen to a person? It doesn't, I know it's natural, but it seems... Anyway, I'm going to tell some stories today. My name's Drew Monson. Did I say that already? My name's Drew Monson. This is my second channel where I just talk and I don't edit the video unless I feel like it. And... Let me tell you, I feel like completing tasks on the computer all the time. It's kind of been my whole thing since I was like nine years old. So by the way, can you imagine story time? Like, honey, do you want to read a book uh, before bed? Yeah, mama, story time. What do you have? Uh, I have the giving tree. I have uh, the rainbow fish. Ooh, that's fun. And I have uh, the man that I married turned out to be a dog, not clickbait. Mama, never mind. <laughs> I'm gonna go to bed. Can you just put on a podcast? Alexa? Okay, um, tell me if these stories are good. I really don't know. I don't even know if they're stories. By the way, can I read? People, I look at my replies on Instagram when I post a story, speaking of. I have story time about once every other day on at Drew My Toehold on Instagram. People will sometimes like message me multiple things over the year, over like multiple years, and they will escalate. Sometimes people will like begin hating me, and it'll just like, okay, somebody wrote, I screenshotted it. I'm, I'm sure it's just like a kid, but it made me laugh. Okay, September 5th, you are the funniest person on the planet. Boom, that's a 10 out of 10 DM, love it. Didn't give them the time of day, don't need to. I took it in, they sent it, that's all that needed to happen. A few weeks later, I posted a movie that I enjoy and they put, that movie is so boring. Listen, we all have opinions that hurt my feelings, but <laughs> go off. October 2nd, I hate you. <laughs> I posted a video of a shirt that I bought and they said, I hate you. Okay, listen, I can handle it. Been on the internet a long time. I've heard worse. And then yesterday, they waited and waited and then yesterday finally came at me with a new drop. You need to be put, you need to be put in a white room with no windows, with little to no food or water. There's no way that's true. <laughs> what if that was true? By the way, what, is, what if that's what fixed me? I was put, mom, dad, I'm gonna be put into a white room. Honey, we're so proud of you. It act, you know what? He, they put him in a white room with no food or water. It sounds mean, but he was a lot less toxic. It actually, by the way, I don't know why I talk about it like I would tell my parents. I do have an issue where like, I'm gonna be 27 next month, June 26th. My Amazon wish list is in my bio, but I still call my parents when anything happens. I'm like, mom, I saw a new movie. <laughs> like, God, dad. I've got jury duty. Like, I, I, I mean, I guess there's nothing wrong with that, but anybody else, do you have, do you have, can you not break apart from your parents? And I don't, it's one of those things that there's no actual problem with it. I think that I'm just judging what other people might think about it, but who cares about that kind of stuff? Who cares? Okay, 
let's see. I guess the first thing I was going to talk about is like, it's not really a story, but my friend, no, it is a story. <laughs> my friend invited me to a comedy show on Saturday and I wanted to do something. I, have, I've, I haven't been doing anything lately. I literally, do you ever just like, you know, it's, it's midnight, you're gonna go to bed in an hour and a half, or, or you're try you should be now, and you go, oh, I forgot to do something. I don't do, I'm not like seeing other people, you know, go, I don't know, what do people do? I'm very, I don't, so I wanted to do it, and I was like excited, like I put on a nice shirt. I like tried out multiple outfits in the mirror. I know you might be watching this like, yeah, me. That's, that's called getting ready. But like, I've only done that three times in my entire life. One of them was, I don't know, my high school graduation. No, that's a bad example. There's only one outfit to wear to your high school graduation. A big blue gown. And man, did I look cute. Do you remember, by the way? I'll get, I'll get to my story. I don't know if I've told this before, but I was so like... Um, self-conscious about the amount of applause I got at my graduation because <laughs> I think they even said like don't because they say everybody's name and then give like a three second before the teacher does the next one they're like don't clap we don't because they don't want to be like a competition but they said I was like okay listen I, I was already making YouTube videos some people like me but it was very much like my grandma my mom my dad <laughs> my sister's like on her phone now there were, i don't i wish i had a video of it maybe i remember it but i just remember being like come on guys standing ovation come on i did my best um anyway i i i, I put on a nice outfit i shaved if you can't tell because i was getting what sucks about growing facial hair is that eventually you you can't just let it grow like you want I want to just be like a mountain man because I've been getting called <laughs> I've been getting called a girl by too many Uber drivers not that a girl can't have a beard but these Uber drivers didn't know that a girl could have a beard you know what I mean they were just <laughs> and I didn't want that anymore so I want to be a mountain man but eventually your mustache just goes into your mouth and then all of a sudden you're eating mustache and it's like um. I ordered a personal pan pizza, not short little brown hairs, you know what I mean? So you get those tiny scissors out. I hate those tiny scissors. I'm either like just crazy beard or everything's gone. So anyway, I show up and I'm, and I left after, I didn't, do, do you ever show up somewhere and just like walk it like you've planned, you drove there, you got, you got there, you've done everything, you're ready, you smell kind of good, deodorant under the arms, I can't lie, I don't do that very often. Because <laughs> usually I'm seeing friends that frankly, if I smell, deal with it. I always feel like I don't smell very bad. I just have this idea. I, I, I have a feeling that I don't know. I feel like my friends are honest enough that they would tell me. And I don't know how to... Can you... I feel like smelling yourself, that's like tickling yourself. You can't do it. Am I totally wrong about that? Do I... Should I do a meet and greet? And everyone watching this video just... No, I think that would be illegal. Anyway, I show up and I just... I literally was just like, I'm, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Because, you know, sometimes like... I'll say I'm gonna go to the bathroom. I'm not really going to, I'm just like, I mean, I'm going into the bathroom. Like sometimes the bathroom, a public bathroom is just like, it's, it's accessibility for people with anxiety. Like I just wanna be in another room. I just, I, I, maybe you can cry. Cause no one's gonna judge you if you cry in a bathroom. I guess the men's bathroom is a little bit judgier, but I've cried in men's bathrooms. What are they gonna say? Sir, sir, not in here, where else? They're, they're probably like, even if they're like, even the most macho man in the world with big arms and a briefcase. <laughs> that's how I define masculinity. He's got a job and he works out. I mean, that's how everyone defines it, I get, I don't know. But even he would be like, listen, man, I, I is that a train? Did anybody hear that train? <laughs> Am I just going crazy? Um, anyway, I, I, I left, let me start over. Not start over, but give me a second. I need to eat some oatmeal. I've honestly, I got some oatmeal right here and I wanted to eat some of, don't give up on me. Mmm, that was some good eating, oatmeal style. Glad you're still here. Anyway, I'm in the bathroom. I'm at the urinal, which by the way, I hate urinals. I don't, I don't like urinals because I resent that there's guys in public bathrooms that you can tell they're like excited and proud to use a urinal. They like waltz, I don't know if you've ever seen this, but a guy would like waltz in like a cowboy, like, oh yeah, I'm gonna go to the bathroom in front of everybody. And it's just, I just, I don't like that. Don't be proud. 
Maybe I, I made, no one's actually proud to use their urinal. I was so shy to use the bathroom in uh, high school and like all of my school years, I literally had to like come up with tricks to get myself to go to the bathroom because I was so, it wouldn't happen. I actually learned one, this might work for you if you have this problem too. Very strange tip to give out on YouTube, but I literally would mutter to myself like a countdown and for some reason it would happen. I would go three, two, one. And I don't know if my body heard it and was like, oh, we're doing this? Okay, sorry, didn't realize, here we go. Which is always so funny because I imagine, imagine you're in the bathroom and you hear the guy in the stall next to you just going, three, two, one. Like, Whoa, is he, is he about to explode? Or a rap? Three, two, one. I'm in the bathroom and my name is Drew. How about you? How about you? I'm Jason and I like the urinal. I'm sorry I'm too proud and you're mad at me. It's all right. Would you like a water bottle? Not really, we're in the bathroom, bro. That was a really bad duet. Anyway. I leave the bathroom and I immediately, I just walk up to my friend. When I start freaking out, I'm talking about freaking out. Like, you know when you freak out. If you watch my videos, you know when you freak out. And I don't, I won't look anyone in the eyes for like an hour because I'm scared that I have crazy eyes. So I'm just like, which probably ends up looking even more insane. I'm just like, hey, no, 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 I'm good. Yeah, no, well, look at all these shoes that everybody is wearing. And I just went, I'm gonna go outside and I'm gonna text you. Which, if you know me, my phrase for like, I need to go be by myself and lose my mind is, I'll text you. Like, I'll, I'll say that on the phone when I'm having an anxiety, anxiety attack. I don't want to say, I need to be by myself, because I feel like that's mean. So I go, I'll text you. It's like, okay, we've been talking for three hours. You don't have to, what are we going to, uh, hi, hi, what's up? I just got off the phone with you. Cool. So I, I go outside, and you know, I guess it's disassociation or whatever, but it still is shocking to me every t even on the 757th time, how everything will just look different when you freak out. Like, for a good 30 seconds before I realize what's going on, it's like, did they change every light bulb in, in the whole city? That's an interesting choice. That tree was a different brown only 10 minutes ago. I didn't know trees did that. What a, what a fun tree. And I start, I just start having those thoughts of like, I'm done. I'll, not like I'm gonna die, but like, I'm just gonna give up now. That was a good run. I'm just gonna become like a body that my friends can visit, like a statue. They can just pick me up, put me in the car, take me to the beach and be like, ah, oh, remember when he used to talk? And I'll just kind of be like, no, I, I freaked out too. I can't do this anymore because when I do things and when I try to do stuff, I think I want to do things and then I do things and I start screaming in my head. So I start freaking out and I'm just like outside and I'm just, you know, I kind of want somebody to see. <laughs> in a way, when I'm freaking out, you want someone to know because it's all in here. It can be frustrating. Like I want, I kind of want somebody to know, but that's all, that also seems kind of messed up. Like, why do I want to share this with somebody? But it's scary for it to just be all alone. Like, I got to write a book about this. And it feels like everybody knows too. But like, I know, you know that if you like watched a video of yourself freaking out when you thought you were like going crazy, you'd just be like slightly pacing, maybe a little bit of this, but not even that bad. And I walked to, I walked to Jamba Juice because then I really had to go to the bathroom and I was thirsty, which is crazy how your body like reacts immediately. Cause like, it's a workout. Like st I'm sure my heart rate is going like, so I go into the Jamba Juice bathroom and it said, it said um, customers only. And I felt like they would have let me like, I know how to turn the charm on, but not when I'm anxious. But you know, the other day at Target, they have uh, you know, the pharmacy at Target. I use the Target pharmacy, big news, not to brag, just happens sometimes. And it said like, you can't buy normal Target stuff at the pharmacy checkout thing. And I, and I had like a little snack or something. <laughs> and, and I said, oh, you can't buy stuff here. And she went, you know what? I'll let it slide. And I was like, okay, good thing I shaved. She likes the jaw. How are you? So anyway, 
I go into, and by the way, this is such a specific part of this story, but this, it was just funny to me because I used the bathroom and I'm already like having a, I'm about, I can tell I'm about to break down for like 36 hours. And I, the second I open the Jamba Juice bathroom door, there's a girl in like a full, when I say she was in a prom dress, I mean she was in a prom dress. And she immediately was going, hold the door, hold the door, hold the door. And I was like, oh, oh my God. And I, and her friends were like, lat, like giggling. And I could tell that she was like the goofy friend. You know what I mean? I've been the goof. I was like, you know what? Enjoy your prom. I'm, I was the goofy friend too. Just be yourself. Here's $5. Cause that, literally I tipped by the way at the Jamba Juice. I just bought a water bottle so I could use the bathroom and they just say like, I, I'm not saying this to brag. I'm saying that like, I was at a point where I'm like, everybody's getting five. I tipped $5 on a $5 water bottle just because I'm like, I guess I should just give all my money away. I'm done. Like I literally was, I don't know if this happens to anybody else, but I don't know how else to say it. I guess I've said it already, but like I was this close to like closing down my Patreon, texting like my manager for sponsorships. Like can't, I have this contract, but like cancel it. I can't do this anymore. I'm just, I'm, cause you can't even fathom that it will ever go away. It's, it's, and by the way, I'm feeling good right now. And like I've said this before, but it's crazy how when you are feeling when you're feeling bad, you think it'll never go away. And you, and I, you'll tell yours, I'll tell myself like, I'll feel good again. But the good that I'm picturing is like a, a bad version of good. You know what I mean? But I'm feeling pretty good right now. And man, it, I forget how good it feels to feel good. And like, that is the reason that you don't give up. Like for real is that it's so simple. It's just because you'll feel good again. And you don't remember how good good is like, it's better than you think. There's, there's no way for you to imagine how good good is when you're really bad. So anyway, one second. So anyway, I finally calmed down at least enough to order an Uber because honestly, even when I have like no hope and only bad thoughts and I don't think I'll ever like anything ever again, there's one thing that I still want. Can you guess what it is? The second I start feeling this way that I'm describing, I'm not kidding, right away my first thought is, are we doing ice cream? Are we doing cereal? So I ordered an Uber and I did the thing where you like put a second stop on the Uber, take me to the grocery store, I'm getting my supplies. And I get it, and he's very nice. It was kind of one of those things where I wasn't, he was kind of muttering, and you know when you don't hear everything someone says, and you don't know how to respond to their stories, and you'll just hear one part. I remember at one point he goes, and it only took, th or, and it took three days, and I wasn't sure if I should go, three days, or like, Three days? It's supposed to take longer. Cause I didn't even know what took three days. You know what I mean? But I should go, three days, yeah, that's a bit more than two. So he takes me to the grocery store. I get ice cream and cereal. I'm just like picking things off the shelf. Doesn't even matter anymore. Let me just go out with a bang. Again, not talking about dying, but kind of that like, I don't want to get too dark in my videos, but I guess all of them. <laughs> Literally, I've been making videos about like thinking about dying for 12 years or something, but you picture what it, I picture if I died of natural causes, because I'm d deciding that like I'm a bad person and nobody likes me. Those are usually most of the thoughts going through my head is like, oh, every everybody is like completely done with me, like done. So I should stop talking to humans, number one. And I start imagining, like, I guess a comforting thought is if I did die, I imagine all of those, this is so horrible, all those people who hate me getting the news and kind of changing their mind, kind of being like, oh, he died. Oh, I mean, honestly, I wasn't, I wasn't feeling him, but now that I know he's, I mean, how can I stay mad at a dead guy? I'm kind of liking this dead Drew vibe. That's, that's not funny. I don't mean that I... By the way, I'm feeling okay now. I don't think that everybody, I feel good now. And can I just say, if anyone's feeling bad or even the way that I described, like I've said all this before, but when you feel bad, you don't ever think you're gonna feel good. Or even when I tell myself those thoughts that I've trained myself to have, which is like, this will go away. You'll feel good again. It doesn't matter because number one in my head, I'm like, who cares? I don't care. I don't wanna feel, it's gonna come back. This is gonna come back. I can't do it anymore. I can't do it. But the thing is, when you feel that way, when you feel bad, the, you don't remember how good it feels to feel good. Like I feel pretty good right now. It's, it's, you can't fathom it in the same way that I can't truly explain to you how I was feeling. I don't know, I've said it before, but basically like, you know when you just feel good again and you take a walk and you feel like you're floating and you're just like, 
oh, that's right. Good thing. Good thing I didn't give up when that other stuff happened because like feeling good feels better than I thought. So anyway, one second. So anyway, I get home, I start eating all the food. By the way, I guess kind of trigger warning, if you don't want to hear me talk about um, eating a bunch of food and then feeling bad about myself, I, I wouldn't. But this will only last for a second. I just want to say, by the way, have you ever eaten, I'm curious if this has happened to anyone else, have you ever eaten so many crunchy, snacky foods and crunched so much that your ears started like popping and ringing almost as if you were like driving up a mountain? Like, I'm doing road trip level, like, snacking to my ears right now. And I, by the way, it is such a process for me. Like, I literally bring everything into the kitchen so I don't have to, or into the, like, I put even, like, the uh, jug of milk on the coffee table so I don't have to get up and get more milk. Like, this is happening. Let's just bring the milk over because we know we're adding more. I've got the whole box of cereal. I'm, put, I'm crunching things into the ice cream, but then I'm going back and forth. We're doing sweet. We're doing salty. A little bit of chocolate over here. Like, it's science. And then, I mean, this is really the unhealthy relation. I do not think anyone should do this. Just being real. Almost out of pride, even. I just was curious how, because it lasted only for like 10 minutes. That's, that's what sucks about food. It goes quick. Cereal? You, can eat a you could eat a box of cereal in nine minutes and it wouldn't be difficult, like at all. But I just count, I was just like, how many calories was it? It was like 1,500. In like, in like five, just because I honestly say that because every time I do that, part of me believes I just ate more than anyone has ever eaten. This is like, I should call the government. Like they need to harness my power and kind of, you know, shame as well. It's just, just so you know, I ate a lot too. And it's okay. I'm still, because literally it like gets in with like my health things. Like there's a part of me that's like, what if I like die? Like what if my arteries are clogged with Captain Crunch? What if, or Panda Puffs? What if my arteries are clogged with Panda Puffs and I, I'm just about to like, cardiac arrest is coming within five minutes. Like, am I gonna, I, I thought about calling poison control. It was a lot. And then I just, what happened was I kind of get out of it because I try, this is a good tip I think. I realize the things, because I've decided that like I'm done, nothing is good, I've given up completely, and I try to notice the things that go against that. So like even when like I go to the bathroom and I wash my hands, I'm like, oh Drew, so you think you've given up completely and you don't care about anything? Then why did you wash your hands? Why do you need to wash your hands? And then I'm like, Oh yeah, maybe I do care about if there's germs on my hand. Maybe I am going to continue living and I care about the future of my life. Like, why did you just text your friend back? If you had, you know what I mean? Like I did the dishes that night and I had this moment while I was doing the dishes where I was like, wait, why am I doing this? Like I, I must have some, you have to like find the little hope that you have because a part of me doesn't want to admit that. Like that feels like defeat to be like, Maybe I'm not, because giving up, telling myself I'm giving up is the reason I was able to eat all that food. And it like, it goes, it's like permission, really. That's probably half the reason I, I freak out. Maybe not, but I'm like, I'm freaking out. Oops, I guess I have to have some, I guess I have to put some caramel swirl in here because I give up. But I was doing the dish, because like I, I decided six months ago, I'm gonna do the dishes every night, maybe four months ago, because I used to let the, I just wouldn't do them. I would like, the things I've seen in my sink, the thing, like, I literally, I swear there was like a spider nest in my sink once, <laughs> because I didn't do the dishes from like 2017 to late 2018. And it was crazy. And so now I do them every night, and I still had a moment where I was like, you know what? I gotta be honest with myself. I'm doing the dishes. And then slowly I was like, okay, maybe I'm not giving up. Anyway, I guess that's not really a story time. The most emotional story time. What else do I have to talk? I have no idea how long this is, but I wrote a few other. I was going to tell another, maybe I'll do it for the next time, but I don't know if I've told this one already. Wait one second. Okay, I think this is gonna be the last story I tell because I'm losing my voice. That story lasted longer than I thought it was going to. I have a hard time with short stories. Short stories don't exist in my, in my world. There, there, there just isn't any. There isn't any. Me going, like watch this. That thing I just did, that could be 20 minutes. 
I could talk about every finger <laughs> for, for three minutes. So anyway, I hope that story was helpful for anybody, by the way. I, I don't know. I, I, I think what it is, like, it's like what I said. I don't, I feel weird that something like that just happens where I don't even know if I explained it right, but it feels so wild that when it just goes away and I'm just supposed to like move on and be like, hey, how was your day? How was your weekend, Drew? I was fine. I freaked. Like, I just, I want to talk about it because it seems so insane to not speak of it ever again. And I, I don't know. I guess it helps me too. But what I was going to say is that I, I really want to hear from you if, if you relate to this in any way, because this, you ever have like a memory of when you were young and you're like, was I? Oh, I forgot about that. I was nuts. Like, cause this is like the type of thing that if someone told me they did this when they were like six, I'd be like, oh yeah, kids are crazy. But I was like 11 and a half. And for like a week in fifth grade, I just straight up ate post-it notes and like, like ate them. Like I didn't chew one. Like I swallowed, like I'm very curious. Like, are they, st did, how was I digesting them? Like I wanted, I, w I literally just have this memory. I'm sorry if I've told this already, but it bears repeating. Just being outside, it was like some assembly or something. And I just had like my little pack. I'd have like three and I would just like, I think they tasted, oh God, I, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to inspire anybody, but man, anyway, I'm a little bit tired right now. I think that I wear myself out from talking. Do you see, I jumped in the, go back to the beginning of this video. I like levitated on my chair. I hope that you watch this all the way through. I'm gonna talk a little bit longer on my Patreon. I'm gonna sing the uh, names of the people who pay me $30 a month or more. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna talk about. Maybe I'll think of something kind of catchy. I saw a tweet that upset me recently. I guess I could talk about that. Oh, it made me mad. And I keep thinking about it too, but not that big of a deal, I guess. And now I'm gonna make you upset on my Patreon. Okay, post-its, anybody? Okay, I thought of one more story. This one will be short. Thank God. Don't talk about your father's story times that way. Well, you're going off on other YouTubers' story times when what's your story? I felt upset and had some food. What's next? I felt nice and had a cup of tea. I don't drink cups of tea because I don't want to be like you, son. Who's the dad here? You act like a baby boy. <laughs> Horrible. I slap my son. All of a sudden I get reported. No! Okay. I just was thinking about how, okay, does anybody else, when you go to the store, I'm like very stubborn with the amounts that I will hold in my hands before I get a cart. I don't like carts. Am I wrong or does every cart suck now? I went to Target the other day, literally every cart, you couldn't even move it. And I asked, I'm like, do these work? He's like, I don't know, man. I'm like, me, bro, I get it. Carts are bad now. So I'm walking around with like, I'm just holding, I'm like, oh wait, I need butter too. And I'm putting the butter on my head. I'm just wearing a butter hat. And all of a sudden I drop everything. And you know when somebody in public, I know I tell a lot of store stories because people are annoying, at, but people are at their worst at the store. But when somebody gets in your business and kind of tries to make it a joke, I dropped all my stuff. Of course, I'm already embarrassed. And this guy with like a tank top on, no offense to tank tops, but don't wear it at the store. I'm not trying to see your pits. Actually, in my last YouTube video, you could see my armpit hair. Real good view. Didn't realize until I edited it. And I wasn't happy with that. Anyway, check it out. Hey, if you, if you want to see that, maybe this is a good promo. Watch my last video. See some hairs. But he's, I drop all my stuff and he goes, uh-oh. That's all he said. <laughs> I know that's not really that bad, but something about, and then another day, it was one of those horrible carts. Every cart just, it's like you start going forward and it's going to the left and then you look drunk. And I'm, here's why I'm saying that. Cause I kept pushing my cart into like the aisle or something. And a guy again gets into my business and he goes, you need to stop drinking before you go to the store. Number one, even if I didn't, I don't, but even if I did, that's my right. That's my right. I can knock everything over in this Walmart and I'm still a citizen. 
I'm done. I need to rest my voice. I don't know. I've been getting so tired so easily. It's so frustrating. I just wake up tired. I do like a little bit of a like a 10 minute walk and I'm like, there's no way I'm in this bad of shape. This has to be some kind of mental. And then I get in my head. I'm like, is it an autoimmune? Like fatigue. It's literally you could spend the rest of your life looking up. Why? Why am I fatigued? They even have a thing just called like you have fatigue disorder. <laughs> it's just like, what's that gonna do for anybody? The pill, what's the prescription? A, a cup of joe? A cup of joe? That's what they call coffee. Okay, I'm gonna sing the song. Can I just say, by PSA, before I go, I, I should have said this in the beginning. Somebody comment the time code here or something because um, I, th I feel like this, this will help at least seven people. And honestly, you guys should hang out. You're the people who get helped by Drew. Now this is a cult. <laughs> anyway, it's an obvious thing. And I don't want to be like Mr. Mental Health tell you what to do. Because it's, it's actually crazy how quickly I go from like being completely hopeless to like preaching. Like, I will be telling everyone that there's no point. I mean, not telling everyone that I feel that there's no point for a long time. And the second that I, that I get like a good night's rest and take a walk that makes me feel powerful, I'm like, oh yeah, but see, the thing about happiness is that it's, it's outside in and you're, you're going inside out and that's your problem. Anyway. What I was gonna say is you gotta use one of these. If you know what this, if you know what this is, you know what this is. If you take a pill every day or multiple pills and you're like me and for some reason you have one of these or you know you should get one because sometimes you wake up and you're like, oh, I'm tired. Wait, did I take my pill? And then you start freaking out because you're like, my options are take zero pills or take two pills. I'm either going to withdraw or double up and feel the effects of that. Just feel this. I know for some reason everything inside of you is pulling you away from doing the things that you know are very simple to do and actually might help you, it takes 17 seconds. And by the way, if you're not taking your pills every day, you're not even taking your pills. And I'm not saying that to make you feel bad. I'm just, see, I am doing that thing. I'm just saying there's something to look forward to. If you start taking them normally, they'll work. Maybe. I'm not, I'm not sponsored by Big Pharma. I actually call, I wanted to be. I, they wouldn't call me back. They said I wasn't family friendly enough. Ooh, too loud. Kaylee Ritter. No, sorry, let me, that was bad. I'm trying so hard because I'm like a, getting a little bit tired and my voice is not good, but that was like good at first. So sorry, Jasenia. Jasenia, Jasenia, you get three bonuses. Andy, Becca, Maxie, Sticks, Sarah, Jane, Pierce, Lonnie, M, Riley, Radford, Marin, Shahan, Leon, Domla, Lucy, K. 
Kenya Riley Haley Curie Olivia Brown Kathy Gans Cousin maybe Cassidy Cassidy There's a way that my <laughs> Wait, did I just, I lost my mind. There's a way that my mouth looks when I sing that I don't like, but that's okay. Thanks for watching this far. Go to my Patreon if you want to.